Hello and welcome to Mama Bell's home. In today's video, we are going to take these very messy and disorganized rooms, this room and my son's room, also this closet, which has just collected a lot of stuff, and we're going to take it and we're going to make it clean and decluttered, and we're going to purge, purge, purge. But first, let me go ahead and tell you what's been going on. So what you've seen right there was <laughs> the current state of my life. Not really. Okay, I'm uh, I'm exaggerating like a lot. Um, but what is actually going on is I was emotionally cleaning. If you don't know what emotional cleaning is, emotional cleaning is when you get some type of emotion that you don't know how to healthily deal with, um, and it's just not like going away like you want it to do, like you know, overwhelm, anxiety, stress, sadness, madness, whatever, uh, and you just start cleaning because. That's a coping mechanism, that's what you've learned to do. Um, and you think that cleaning it will fix it, it won't. Uh, but I am praying and I'm listening to, you know, um, worship music and stuff like that to, but for right now I just kind of feel overwhelmed. And the clutter and the mess isn't helping, it's just making me feel more um, suffocated. So. I started cleaning, and as you've seen, it may not have looked like it, but as you've seen, there was piles. And I started, you know, over overworking, over thinking, overdoing, um, and I realized the appeal of minimalism and why a lot of moms veer that way. It makes perfect sense. I'm not ready to be a minimalist, but I am so ready to be more organized and clutter free. My brain cannot stand it. If you don't know, I am an ADHD mom. I have seven kiddos. So seven kids and running your home and all of those things, that's a lot of work. And then you add ADHD to it and it just, Things have been really difficult lately. Um, I'm sorry. Things have been really difficult. I feel like since I've had baby number seven, I just cannot get it together. Um. And I do not feel sorry for myself. I do not regret anything. Like, I have no whatever. What I am struggling with is I feel like <sighs> there is, like, there was this sense of normal that I had pre-baby. But it's that way with every single one. And I think that you, when you have a baby whether it's one or seven or 10 or whatever your number is, you think back to, it was so much easier before that baby because of such and such and such. But that's not actually true. You were just at a place where you felt more accomplished because you have worked yourself that place. Does that make sense? Like before you have your first baby, you don't have a baby to worry about and it feels like you're on your own time and you are figuring out then you have your baby and you're like oh my gosh like this is so hard I don't know how to do this and then you figure it out and then you have the next baby and you're like oh my gosh I like this is so overwhelming there's so much to do and I just can't get back into my normal rhythm and then so on and so forth right like it's not that you can't be get back into your normal rhythm it's that you have to find your new normal and i'm learning that but it just looks a lot different having like i have my olders like my oldest is going to be 16 in like a week and then i have uh, you know and then down the line it's going to be 12 10 8 and then a huge jump to four three and then my baby will be one in July. And so 
there's just like a huge, it feels like night and day difference between what's happening and I've never had toddlers this close together where they literally feel like they're going to either kill themselves or kill me. Um, and I don't actually mean that, but you get what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, why are you doing that? And it's like, well, because they're two and three, because it looks fun, because they're curious, because it's normal, but you're just like, you know? So anyways, all of this huge little like rant and like little tear sesh to say, I'm ready to like just let go of as much that as I can while still having like the comforts and the pleasures that I want. So this isn't like a messy to minimal type thing, like going to minimalism, cause I just, I'm just not there. And I don't know if I will be there. I don't know if I wanna be there. I don't, then there's nothing wrong with it. It like to each their own, like you have to find what works for you. And that's what I'm saying is like, this just ain't a working anymore. So let's get into this. So we have our little guest here that is going to help us clean and I'm just setting him up with some of the toys that I found around the room. Um, I had in a pile because I like piles and he's all set and situated and happy and I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to collect things. I have a pile that is giveaway. I have piles that are toys that don't belong here, books that I'm going to get rid of, trash, like the whole thing. I have these new shirts that I got for my son for church and so we're going to just go ahead and hang that up. And I'm just really taking this time to focus and get down to like the foundations of it all and get rid of anything that I just don't need and get everything that's supposed to be in a certain place in that place um, and making sure that I'm cleaning up and getting the trash along the way. girls here you'll notice notice the baby with a uh, book and they just thought it was the cutest thing which led to an impromptu photo shoot really quickly <laughs> Malachi, my youngest, is now eight months and he is getting around. If you notice his little like army crawl scoot flop thing that he does. Um, every kid has had their own unique spin on crawling. He actually never did the backwards thing where all of my other kids did, which was kind of unique. Um, but he is just, you know, helping his mama, doing the things, checking out what's going on. Maybe a little studying of the books real quick. And then my girls, um, they were in there with me helping and just doing little tests for the downstairs runs that I don't have to go and do because that's just going to get me distracted because I do have ADHD and when I leave a space that I'm working on, I will often notice all of the things that are wrong with all of the other spaces and I will get distracted and try to start doing like 500 things. So um, they helped me out by going to do those downstairs things so I can stay here and focus. Um, and of course my baby, he sees that ring light and he is interested. If it's something he shouldn't have or will be dangerous for him to have, that's the thing that he wants. He's also very, very interested in cords right now. And even though he has blocks right there, it's the plastic bag for him, you know? with the baby um, as they're like going on well at least the three middle girls are <clears throat> my son here he's the one with holding the puppy he took her out potty and she just needs a little mom cuddles and playtime um, which I noticed I was starting to get distracted and so I had him go and put her um, back down in the living room play with her there so that I can stay focused on what I need to do <laughs> making 
mess but I'm taking these bags and I'm just separating different baby clothes and things like that in them I have a friend who's gonna be having a baby boy next month and so I'm saving a lot of the zero to three months that I'm finding along with blankets and burp cloths and things that I think that she can use in that first month I don't know where we are with having more kids or what's going to be happening with that and normally I will just save the clothes but I know that is contributing to part of the problem of just having too much stuff and so I feel like one letting her borrow some stuff is just something that I would do but also maybe just giving it away and then if and when we have more kids then of course I could um, get more or we'll just pass along or whatever the situation is God always provides and so I think one of the things I'm going to be working on later on in this series probably is letting go a lot of the stuff that we have stored in the garage which would be a lot of baby clothes I do not have the capacity to like sell or any of those things so I usually just donate I feel like God has been very faithful to bring me things when I need it and so I just usually will donate or find somebody who can use them and being that my friend is having a baby boy she could probably use a lot of it so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this feed work on what I can in the area that I am and then get him all settled and finish going on with this cleaning organized and it started out with just like a little extra things in there and then over the last year like I said um, almost well pretty much eight months from having the baby I have just been like putting stuff in there to get it out of the way or other people are just shoving stuff in there so it's finally time to really like go through purge a lot of stuff declutter and get this area clean because when I open that door it literally just like makes me so overwhelmed so I'm gonna go through my shoes first go through and get shoes that I don't really wear we did go from living in San Diego into Idaho and that doesn't seem like a big deal but a lot of the shoes that I had or, or own were more San Diego specific as far as like flip-flops and sandals and all of that and I just if I'm only wearing them a few months out of the year here in North Idaho I just don't feel like there is a necessity to have so many plus there's a lot of shoes that I just don't wear anymore like um, more of the platform wedge type shoes and a lot of my like athletic shoes I'm not reaching for and so I might as well just get rid of donate or whatever I just I, it's time to let go a lot of these things and so you'll see as I'm like going through here instead of just doing one thing at a time I literally just dump it all into this room so Bear with me, y'all. It gets messy fast. Are you like me where as you're cleaning you're finding things and you can't just help but reminisce? This is a family photo album that I found when I was cleaning of my mom and sisters and stuff. My mom has passed away. She has been gone almost 12 years now and it's been hard and so looking at those pictures of my childhood with her and my sisters, um, I quickly realized like it, this is just not the time. I gotta put it away to put it to the side and we'll go through it later. But it was kind of nice just like looking back and seeing her face again. Um, and yeah, so this is where, I, this is the point where I'm talking about, it got messy fast. I literally was just finding the weirdest and craziest things. A lot of it is just like stuff that I was like, oh, you know, clothes, I'll, I'll get down to the size. I don't want to buy new clothes because I have all these weight loss goals and, and I'll be able to get into my workout clothes that I loved so much um, from before. And it just, you know, I realized that's just probably not going to happen and it's definitely not going to happen anytime soon. So there's no way, there's no reason for me to be holding on to these things right now. I can just replace them later because it's going to take me too long and my brain just cannot handle holding on to them. Okay. Do you ever have regrets? <laughs> regrets! 
uh, I should have never taken it all out at once, but I just figured if it's all out, then it's just like a blank space. So I went ahead, let's walk in. There's a sewing machine, um, like knickknacks and stuff that I don't have any place here in this house to put it up, and I'll go through that another day, but there's a lot of emotion connected to that, so I'll leave it. Um, and then crochet projects, my sewing thing. I'll go through this after, but that is mostly like desk, office type stuff that I need to go through later. First, it's time to conquer this. I mean, it's really not that bad. That huge pile of clothes that I've been holding on to, you know, for when I get back down to that size one day, that's not happening all my books that I'm going to go through, and honestly, I'm probably not going to purge many of them, um, but any of them that I just don't align with anymore, or I have multiples, or whatever, I'll do that. And then a bucket of stuff, you guys, I'm just a hoarder, okay? Alright, I'm really not, like, I don't try to be, it's just an emotional thing. And then the pile of shoes that I'm getting rid of pregnancy pillow that I hated and actually didn't use more than like a month or so because if you notice the shape and it went flat fast and then a pack and play mattress that I'm probably going to pass on to a friend. I've been throwing stuff into my room that needs to go in my room, stuff that needs to go in their room. So after this I'm probably going to move on to there because that's the next room um, with a bunch of stuff like I need to change out his um, six to nine months and nine to twelve months is up so that's what we're doing and here we go let's finish purging And as you can see, a lot of it is my clothes and stuff, things that I have just been holding on to. A lot of it has sentimental value, um, especially when it comes to like my workout clothes, because that was like, you know, a few sizes ago, um, and three kids ago, and so I just have been holding on to it because I really have these goals of weight loss to get back into it, and it's just not going to happen in any time frame that is realistic for me to keep on holding on to these clothes, and plus, like, there's always room for new clothes and so for right now my brain like my mental space is more important to me than holding on to these clothes and so they just have to go um i have actually really enjoyed having my kids in here i don't know if you guys are like this where it's just funner to clean with somebody else whether it's like having music or just having somebody to chat with it's just more entertaining i guess to do these like menial tasks with somebody else it makes me think back to like growing up um, like middle school high school where your friends would come over and you guys would have to clean your room or you would go help them clean their room and you're just able to kind of like chit chat and like go through stuff and you really get an understanding of who somebody is so are you like me do you like to clean with other people or is this something that you're more like solo about I Okay, so now I'm just working through the books that were in the closet. Like I mentioned before, I don't have any plans on getting rid of a lot or purging a lot of them. I actually ended up getting rid of more than I thought, and I'll show you guys um, here in a second of what the donation pile looks like so you can see how many I got rid of. Let's just clean these mirrors real quick and why not have a fun design, and my sweet Layla bug is helping me out. Okay, here's the donate pile. That's all shoes. This is like pillows and clothes, clothes and sheets, all of the books. Some extra sheets. Don't mind that, that's already closed. This may not be the best view, but I wore these post or I wore these pregnant and I get to wear them postpartum. What do you think? This is where we're at. I'm losing steam. I'm losing my mind. But we're getting there. And I have a baby in my pouch. Kangaroo mom. Do you see yourself in the mirror? 
Do you love this room? No, stop, my baby. Do you love this room? Okay, so now we're into the boys' room right off of the office side. He just woke up from his nap. And my toddler hasn't, uh, like the two-year-old, hasn't been Hi. taking naps. <laughs> yeah. What do you have to say? So this is like the prime time to get some cleaning and organizing done in their room. And it's pretty bad. Let me go ahead and show you what we're working with here. Just real quick. This is the weather that we woke up to. See all that? Like usually the walkway from the gate where you can see some footprints. That's been clear until this morning. But anyways, here we go. Mess. Mess, mess. Because I was in the process of changing out. Um, clothing and never got there so this is what we got guys it's a mess everywhere it's a mess but this room is not I do have this um, still that top bag right there has some internet gear I need to return the baskets those are just empty that I'm gonna repurpose somewhere else or get rid of and then that basket down there is the it doesn't belong here let's find a new home for it so that's the state of what's going on. I'm gonna set him down. Yeah, he's got a lot to say this morning. So I'm gonna set him down to play while I do clean. I'm gonna do a speed clean as much as possible. Switch out his clothes. Um, the six to nine months for nine to twelve months. Thank you for that popsicle, sir. Yes. Ooh, a chocolate popsicle. Okay. Oh, two chocolate popsicles. Ooh, what do you have there? Ooh, strawberry, too. That's awesome. Here, why don't you take this triple-decker? Okay, you don't want that. See? Here's more stuff for this room, Mom. Um, I'm just gonna... We'll deal with it later. So... <laughs> oh, you don't want it, but you don't want me to throw it down? Okay. Can you even clean and go about your day if you are not dressed like Captain America? No, I don't think you can. So first up, it's setting my two-year-old up in his old, his Halloween costume that he loves so very much and get him all content and situated before I can start getting into it. And then as you see in the background, those there's those pink bags again from the previous room. And so we're just going to continue with those and separating the clothes that need to come out of here. I had tried to switch out his clothing sizes, Malachi, my youngest, um, switch out his clothing sizes and I brought in the wrong bin and then, you know, just like life happened. And so it's just been sitting in here and waiting for me to do. And so now it's time to get that done. So I'm just working through these piles again because I love those piles, you know, working left to right. So I'm working from the farthest point left and then all the way to the right side where Asher's crib is, getting these um, piles organized, getting the clothes gone through, going through toys and things like that, putting shoes in the basket so that way they're not just all over the place and we are just working through. So let's keep going.
love these little diaper baskets. They're so cute. I have one for each of the boys and we've just been kind of like shoving things there. So I'm just going to go through, reorganize, restock, get these wipes out of the boxes, diapers back in there, and just kind of like going through. I'm just plodding along, ladies, plodding along. Okay, so the room has gone through. I have decluttered and purged everything that I really need to get out of there. Now it's just organizing and getting everything cleaned up and in a place that it needs to be so I'm working through the pile of blankets over here separating what they're gonna be using and then what I'm gonna be giving um, to my friend to borrow here's some more clothes that I have found but basically now I'm just getting everything in its place finding a place for everything and then anything that doesn't need a place have a place it's got to go so there we go up the last few things taking out the trash I do need to get to the laundry but we'll save that for another time we are just moving I'm feeling really good I'm so glad that I've gotten these spaces like cleaned and organized and I just have to vacuum and we're all done I cannot wait to show you guys what it all looks like when we are through here family that loves a good clean organized space as you can see me cleaning and vacuuming brings them in here they come flocking into the clean room to enjoy it and honestly a lot of the time in my life I have really had like anxiety or have been really frustrated when the kids have like come into the clean space because within a matter of minutes they're going to be messing it up but now I just really think of it as a gift that I have given them somewhere that they really want to be and they want to enjoy and they want to check it out and explore and play and I feel so good doing that. I feel good that they're, they're not living in chaos, that they're somewhere clear and clean and fun for them and they want to be there and that's good. Okay, so I got the whole room bed cleaned. Asher's bed, breastfeeding, sleeping, singing, um, Malachi's bed outside in the snowy, snowy wonderland. Toy box is down here. Um, blankets and stuff. I organized. Just tied it up there. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, are you showing them your coin? Yeah. Yeah. And then, not beautiful or perfect by any means, but clothes that are need hey. hung up, socks, um, hats and stuff. A and then, coin. jammies, tops, bottoms, coin. shoes, A and then coin. all the debris of the cleaning. So, yeah, it's your coin, honey. Can you give me one minute real quick? Yeah. Um, these are clothes that I'm giving away. Um, uh, sorry, hold on. Okay, humidifier. I need to de scale, de clean, like de dunk it up um, and see if it'll work. It's a fix. 
it's not my favorite, but we'll see if we can save it. And then I have, um, down here, I grabbed this by accident. I thought it was the 9 to 12, but it's actually 12 to, or 18 to 24. So I need to put that back. Then I have a bag for a friend who's having a baby. Um, I think I mentioned in this video already. So this is like 0 to 3, some burp rags and things like that that she'll need like in the beginning. And then these are all just different sizes that I need to go put into another bin or make a bin for cleaning rag that I need to put, dirty clothes, I took out the trash and the diaper pail, I got, um, <coughs> excuse me, changing pad all ready to go, this is Asher's diapers, um, his binkies for nap time and bedtime, and then these little mats here, and then Malachi's diapers, and I put the wipes in there, and then these are just like different lotions and things, because his basket is a little bit bigger, and then of course the hatch sound machine back there, okay, and then I have beds made and set up ready for bed, uh, diffuser, breastfeeding session, like, um, station, sorry, ready, I have some books that I'm going to put in here that I like to read uh, when they're going to bed, rocking chair, this is actually filled with blankets, I love this thing, I'll link it from Amazon, it's the best, and then Malachi's crib, so there it is, everything, like that was the quickest I've ever cleaned this room I think, husband will help me get this to the garage because I do not trust myself walking in the snow with it. Um, he is much better at those kind of things. And then I have these curtains and um, curtain rod that I would like to replace these curtains with. I love these curtains, but they need to be cleaned. And this like pink, do you see it? <laughs> um, what is it called? Uh, rod is, you know, it's pink and it doesn't match anything. This is up here before, um, yeah. yes, my love. Um, a, a chair. That's the chair, high chair? I mean the rocking chair? Is that your favorite chair? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, okay, so I got the whole room's bed cleaned. Asher's bed, breastfeeding, sleeping, singing, um, Malachi's bed outside in the snowy, snowy wonderland. Toy box is down here. Um, blankets and stuff. I organized. Just tied it up there. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, are you showing them your coin? Yeah. Yeah. And then, not beautiful or perfect by any means, but clothes that I need to hung up, socks, um, hats and stuff, and then jammies, tops, bottoms, shoes, and then all the debris of the cleaning. So, yeah, it's your coin, honey. Can you give me one minute real quick? Um, these are clothes that I'm giving away. Um, uh, sorry, hold on. Okay. Humidifier. I need to descale, de clean, like de dunk it up um, and see if it'll work. It's a fix. It's not my favorite, but we'll see if we can save it. And then I have um, down here, I grabbed this by accident. I thought it was the 9 to 12, but it's actually 12 to or 18 to 24. So I need to put that back. Then I have a bag for a friend who's having a baby. Um, I think I mentioned in this video already. So this is like zero to three, some burp rags and things like that that she'll need like in the beginning. And then these are all just different sizes that I need to go put into another bin or make a bin for cleaning rag that I need to put, dirty clothes. I took out the trash and the diaper pail. I got, um, <coughs> excuse me, changing pad all ready to go. This is Asher's diapers, um, his binkies for nap time and bedtime. And then these little mats here. And then Malachi's diapers. And I put the wipes in there. And then these are just like different lotions and things because his basket is a little bit bigger. And then, of course, the hatch sound machine back there. Okay, and then I have beds made and set up ready for bed. Uh, diffuser, breastfeeding session, like um, station, sorry, ready. I have some books that I'm going to put in here that I like to read uh, when they're going to bed rocking chair. This is actually filled with blankets. I love this thing. I'll link it from Amazon. It's the best. And then Malachi's crib. So there it is. Everything, like that was the quickest I've ever cleaned this room, I think. Um, and that's because of faithful hard work from before. 
husband will help me get this to the garage because I do not trust myself walking in the snow with it. Um, he's much better at those kind of things. And then I have these curtains and um, curtain rod that I would like to replace these curtains with. I love these curtains, but they need to be cleaned. And this like pink, do you see it? <laughs> um, what is it called? Uh, rod is you know it's pink and it doesn't match anything this was up here before um yes asher a chair. that's the chair high chair i mean the rocking chair is that your favorite chair yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um so i'm gonna go thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this i hope it was either helpful for like cleaning motivation or maybe just enjoyment out of watching somebody purge and like go through and just get through like rid of stuff and like speed clean so i will see you guys in the next one bye